see. In the daytime, two new large electronic billboards outside Sandy Krasnov's 11th floor window are just an eyesore. But once the sun sets, they're an unwanted night light, keeping her up all evening. Very annoying, very annoying. No matter what she does, I try and face the other way. I close the blinds real good, real tight. The light just won't go away. And now Sandy and her co-op city neighbors are learning the building developer, Baychester Retail 3, wants to install another electronic billboard at the same corner, Bartow and Baychester Avenues. But this one would be 34 stories high. I feel like these ones here are enough. I don't think we need a giant billboard like that. It may cause some mayhem during our rush hour. I don't think it's really good because, um, you know, you have uh, distraction to drivers. Which is why City Councilman Andy King is hosting this Day of Action rally, fighting against the new billboard and trying to regulate the ones that are already there. We can try to figure out how to work with the developer to say, okay, how do we have um, a better way of timing with the illumination of the light shining in people's apartment? King says the developers have already denied the permit to build the 300 foot billboard, but are trying to appeal it. According to these court papers here, would have been 57 billboards. So I don't understand how anyone so thinks that they can put 57 billboards in a residential neighborhood. A residential neighborhood that says they plan to fight to the end to keep it that way. Dick Brennan, CBS2 News. Councilman King says that he's working with the Department of Buildings to figure out just how the electronic billboards got installed in the first place.